Hey Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. So we are back for another foot video. We have something new. I'm going to tell you what we're doing in just a minute. But remember like a few days ago or like a week ago we did our Dr. Scholl's foot peeling mask. As you can see the skin is beginning to peel. It's been about seven days and you see that beautiful fresh skin coming under there. As you can also see my toenails are very long and strong due to the calcium nail polish which is peeling as well. So my feet is in the beginning stages of peeling from the mask. I love the foot mask. It is just so amazing. But I also been seeing this like corn and callus remover. Corn and callus to me is pretty much the same thing. Um, and it's just a whole bunch of built up skin, right? A whole bunch of dead skin cells just put together due to friction. So I had this one my whole life. This is what my little toe looked like. I don't even know what that is. It's not really a nail. It's like really soft, but I've always had this one my whole life. And I've always had this corn my whole life and people say oh that's because your shoes are too small okay i don't believe that uh, my mother always made sure i had everything that i could fit but i wear a lot of heels so again when you have your skin against friction all the time or something is really tight then it will cause calluses and corn so i want to say my corns came from heels um these i really think i was born like this because i don't know i'll do my extended research but because this is not even a nail so i want to say that this toe is just automatically born like that because that that's not even a real nail i don't know what it is but it's like really soft but these callus right here these corns right here that i recently just got like these came out of nowhere i don't wear tennis shoes i just got some little sandals this year because i don't want to wear heels outside just going to the grocery store but I wear a lot of heels and you know I'm learning about that as well um heels are really not that good on your feet for a long time because it can begin to move your bone placement and different things like that but I want to say that these ones just recently came from heels as you can see this one is really thick like that's a really thick callus right there and so I ran into this um Dr. Show did have a kit for five dollars but I wanted to get this one I got this from Walmart just to try it this kit right here was three and then um, these were extra two dollars so I could have extra and what it is is just some liquid I've been seeing a lot about like salic I uh, think I said it right acid this is at 17 percent and I've been hearing that's really really good for the skin um so that's why I didn't mind buying it because I've been seeing like that go around um so I'm gonna do my extended research but you know I want to do this first <laughs> I want to go ahead and get this to try um I got water dripping everywhere and stuff but so I you know like I said I've been hearing about that acid being really good for skin and what they said is you are just on dry feet you're just gonna put enough of this on the area that's affected and then you'll put the callus um like cover over it to where the callus is sticking out and you want to do this for at least like 14 days until you see it disappear that is what the direction says back here do not use if you're irritated keep this away from flammable items avoid contact with your eyes and then um you want to wash the area first and dry thoroughly and then you want to apply one drop at a time with the applicator to sufficiently cover each callus or corn you want to let that dry then you're going to use the cushion cover um you can buy these separately like we did but then you want to repeat this process once or twice daily as needed up to 14 days so first we have dry feet here well besides the little water that's going to little places but my feet is dry so you want to put this on then you want to put this on and do this once or twice a day um you want to put this on after it dries and then you want to do that up to 14 days until you see them disappear so we're going to do an update so we can see, because if we have a new regimen for skincare, we about to be in the game. Let me open this and let's get started. So upon first contact of opening this, it do kind of smell like acrylic. It got like that like acid smell. Um, just trying to be careful. And as you can see, oh, it doesn't have like a little swap on there. So they said just to, oh, let me be careful. Just to put it on the area and cover it. Kind of like a gel. I need a little bit more. It is so big and it's thick. 
and when i use my pumice stone i never really like do my the top of my feet because i knew that these were like corns but i mean i honestly want to tell you all the revelation i actually got on this video that those corn and calluses must be the same thing but i do my research so it's actually drying as i'm applying it um it looked like something been going on right here a little bit And you see it's getting like this gel look on it. I'm super excited. And then we got to get that baby toe. Yeah, so it's like a gel. Um, I think that is it. That is just the skin peeling. Got to get my nails together. Look, so I'm just giving y'all up close in person. So... Um, my nails were like really damaged again um, like crack nails and different things like that it's due to vitamin deficiency as well I mean for the most part when you have like skin and nail problems that's more like vitamin A vitamin C vitamin D and zinc and different things like that so I know that um, that's why I use that calcium nail polish because that helps a lot to strengthen them. I mean, it's been like a few months, but my nails have been getting really, really good. I used to get these done with acrylic, but for the most part, I'm not going to even say nothing about nails. I honestly think my nails were like not healthy due to my inside, like not getting enough nutrition. So, you know, you learn, you go and you grow. And that's why we're here to learn. I mean, when you know better, you do better. So, I mean, it's a you. I mean, you have to learn about yourself to to know exactly what you need. And I think all of these toes were kind of like. But as you can see, I'm getting them covered pretty good. It's like a little gel. Yep. Look, got some right there too. And then my toenails, I keep them like really low anyway. So I never let cav them that big. So they said let it dry and then you wanna put the, you wanna put your little patch over it. So these are dry. Don't wanna like push on them too much, but they are dry. It look like candle wax. Then they said you want to put these over to relieve any pressure. Honestly, in the morning, I might just drop some more oil like right there in the circle part. Instead of taking the cushion off. And then probably about the afternoon, I'll take the cushion off. They're sticking pretty good. Then this pack here, the extras came with the 18 pack. This one is big. They did have some bigger ones. You could get some bigger ones. You could do the same treatment if you don't want to like scrub off the callus. Yeah, those stuck really, really good. So I got that toe done. Let's come over here. We see this foot is dry. I mean, we're going to have a whole foot care line in a minute. We got the pumice stone. You want to do your Dr. Scholl's foot peeling mask. That takes two weeks to peel the skin, as you can see. You don't want to pick at it. Just let it peel. Then we want to do touch up with our pumice stone every day to maintain the feet. And then we might have something new as far as callus, which you shouldn't have to do this too often. But I mean, it's safe. So probably like every 14 days if you need to. After they disappear. Oh, I like the way I laid these ones. Yeah. Let me see. We'll lay. Actually, we'll leave them. Everybody is perfect. So this is what we have so far. We will be back in a few days when I see some changes. Be sure to learn about what your body needs so you can take care of yourself. We use our feet all the time. We need our feet to be healthy. 
calcium nail polish is really really powerful it just keeps my nails like really beautiful like i said as you can see i like to keep them low but then you know still working on vitamins and learning what kind of vitamins i need you know to just keep them healthy but I'm super excited to share this journey with you. If you would like this kit, I got it from Walmart. I did get an extra pack um, so I could have extras. This was $2. And then the pack that it came with the oil, it had three of those in there. So be sure to check out our other feet and hand videos. Alexis loves you. Mwah.